Hi everyone, I am Wafa Lango and welcome you all in Grammar in Detail. If you are new and not subscribe the channel, so subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get some more videos about grammar. Today we have got the fourth kind of verb that is known as monotransitive verbs. Mono means you know one transitive which can be changed into passive voice and verb which shows an action. So let's begin the definition of monotransitive verbs. When we omit any of two objects of ditransitive verbs or detransitive verbs, is called monotransitive verbs. You know, when you omit, reject or remove. Reject and as well as remove. One of the two objects. From these two objects, one of them. And what, what are the objects in ditransitive or detransitive verbs? Di or D means two. Transitive which can be changed into passive wise and verb which shows an action. So from D transitive verbs, you, when you omit one of the objects, then your verb changes into monotransitive. Monotransitive means one uh, object. And I have already discussed with you people die or D transitive verbs. I will be dis, uh, sharing the you know link in description box where it will be quite easy for you people to understand detransitive verbs or ditransitive. If you understood ditransitive verbs well, you will be able to understand monotransitive verbs. So in monotransitive verbs, we omit one of the objects from ditransitive verbs that becomes monotransitive. And ditransitive verbs need two objects. One is known as indirect object, which means livings, and direct object. which means non-livings clear so non-livings are known as direct object and livings are called indirect object so when you meet one of them the object changes uh, your verb changes into monotransitive verbs examples now we will discuss you know he taught me grammar now here we have got me indirect object and grammar your direct object when you meet one of them he taught grammar or either you say he taught me then here taught is changed into monotransitive here it is also changed into monotransitive in the same way i sent them a message i sent them clear now what again incomplete i sent a message to whom again incomplete this verb is now changed into monotransitive in the same way you are showing us a movie you are showing us and you are showing movie air showing is known as your monotransitive and air it is trans uh, uh, ditransitive verb in the same way she sold me okay she she told me the truth she told me now told is changed into mono air it is die because it needs two object indirect and direct like us indirect and movie direct and in the same way she told the truth so the truth is your direct object and me is your indirect object in the same way we asked him a question we asked him him is your indirect object question is your direct object so ask is called your detransitive verb or ditransitive verb and when you meet any of them we asked him and we asked a question so over here taught is di ditransitive verb here taught is monotransitive Air send is transitive, uh, ditransitive, and air sent is monotransitive. Why? Because air it needs two objects, and air it is having one object. Showing is air ditransitive of having two objects, and air showing is known as monotransitive, having one object. In the same way, told is having two objects, me and the truth, and air it is monotransitive, only me and truth, one object. In the same way, ask is having two objects, M and a question, and here it is one, either M or ask, a uh, question. So, you know, in monotransitive verbs, we omit from two ditransitive verbs, one object, and that is known as monotransitive verb. One note is there, let it to be discussed, you know, we usually, where the word usually comes, you know, it means 80%. It is adverb of frequency which is used for 80%. We usually use or we usually omit, reject, remove indirect object. Indirect object means living object. Living 
object because we have studied in in uh, you know you know die transitive verbs that in die transitive verbs we remove uh, we have two objects living and the non living living is called indirect object and non living is called direct object so they need two if you put one of them the meaning won't won't be clear and understandable but if you want to change it into mono keep in your mind 80% you have to remove your indirect object if we omit direct object keep in your mind the meaning may be incomplete change or even wrong first we will be having the example of incomplete how like she sends me a question arises what does she send so or there it is a mono but it is again not giving complete meaning so if i say he sends a book clear now over here 80 percent meaning is incomplete he sends me what he sends a book it is clear just 20 percent is remaining if i say to me then it will be correct and in the same way sometimes it changes the meaning you know he bring me i bring him now i bring him a question arises i bring himself to the same person or i bring him any other thing clear if i say i bring a watch i bring a watch or here keep in your mind meaning is 20 percent incomplete but here it is 80 percent incomplete because the meaning is changed totally i bring him a watch then it is clear but if i say i bring him a conf lot of confusion whether i bring the same person or i bring for him anything even it can be sometimes wrong you know i sold him now definitely he is not a watch that I, you sold him he is not a watch that you sold him clear for example i say you sold a watch so it is better to omit the indirect objects these me him him you are not going to omit these objects because they have got 80 uh, 20 percent meaning incomplete but they are 80 percent you know uh, incomplete change and wrong so that is what you know you will omit your indirect object means the living object i cannot you cannot sell sell him so you will not say you sold him you sold him a watch then it can be correct you sold a watch it is also correct so for learning the mono transitive verbs you need to just watch the video about die transitive verbs it will be further clear for you hope you got today's lecture regarding mono transitive verbs wish you best of luck see you next time with next lecture goodbye